Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be breaking down my dividend portfolio. So for those of you that don't know, right now I'm building a dividend portfolio that pays me $1,000 per month. So every single month I put anywhere from $500 to $1,000 into my account and I'm picking high quality stocks, a lot of ETFs. So I felt like I should make a video really just updating my portfolio because I haven't made one in, in over a month. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, if you guys want to sign up with Moomoo, you guys can get a free stock just by signing up. That will be the first link down below. Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments and I will get back to you guys as fast as I can. So now that jump into it, roll the intro, let's go. Bam! So now this past month in May was absolutely my best dividend month. I made around $13 in dividends, which is actually pretty decent. That's like a free gym membership, so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with myself. You know, just because the past 2 months before that, my dividends were only like 30 cents, 20 cents, just in the cents range. And now I broke over the dollar mark and now I'm over the $10 mark. So really my next goal is to make $20 per month of dividends. All right, so now let's actually go ahead and look at some of the positions that I'm in. So as you guys can see, I do have the DRIP program, which is the dividend reinvestment plan. So really what they do, any dividends you get, they automatically reinvest it in that same company. Yeah, I'm not going ahead and withdrawing those dividends and buying stupid stuff. I'm just taking it and reinvesting it right back into your account. That's what I would highly recommend doing just because you make a lot more money in the long term uh, doing that. The very first stock that I own, I own a 2.003. Uh, shares is Apple. I did get a pretty good price around $275 is my average position so it's not too bad. So ne the next one down here is Ali, also known as Ali Financial. They were a very, very undervalued stock. This was kind of like a swing trade that I was going to do, but it actually turned out to be a pretty solid play for the future as well. And they paid dividends, so I think I'm going to actually hold, uh, hold that one for a little bit. The next one here is Bank of America. Uh, my trade price is around $20. Right now it's trading at around $25, so that's pretty good. Next one is Disney. Disney is probably one of the best ones that I got in at. I got in under $100 at $99.42. Right now it's trading at um, $118, and I do own three shares. The downside of Disney right now is they did cut their dividend, but that was kind of expected just because their, their parks aren't open and they're kind of little lacking on the revenue side. So now the next one down is Dunkin' Donuts, Facebook. Facebook obviously doesn't pay a dividend, Dunkin' Donuts does. Um, but Home Depot, I got three shares. This was a little more expensive. This is around $245. I'm up a little bit on that one. I have three shares. The reason why I got into this is because they do pay a nice dividend yearly. So you get around $6, I believe, per year for that one. So that's pretty good. Uh, the next one down is KO, also known as Coca-Cola, Dividend King. I have nine shares of that. Um, I'm up like 20 bucks on it, which is pretty good. The next one down is Live Nation Entertainment. This is going to be a swing trade that I'm in, and I am up, you know, just $7 on it, but that's pretty decent. I always take a little bit of my money, and I kind of swing trade it so I can reinvest those profits back into some high-quality dividend stocks. It's just kind of like a cool idea that I have. Um, the next one down is Maine. This is a monthly paying uh, dividend stock. I did get in at around $25, and I'm up around 32% on that one. So now the next one I have McDonald's. We all know McDonald's. I believe it's five dollars per year in dividends, which is really good. Next one down. Next one down is uh, NLY, which is really good. The dividend for this one is absolutely crazy. This I used to have a lot more shares of it, but then I kind of scaled back after it broke over my trade price. I did overpay a little bit on it, so I wanted to scale out my risk a little bit better. Next one down is O. Oh, this is another monthly paying stock, which is really nice to see. The next one down is OGIG. This is an ETF that has you know Google in it, uh, Amazon, a lot of the very, very popular um, tech giants. They have an ETF in it. The reason why I got it is it's only 36 bucks and the expense ratio is really cheap. Uh, the next one down is Starbucks. I did get a decent price, so 72 bucks for it, which isn't too bad. Um, next one down is XPXL. This is a you know just a regular S and P 500 ETF that was on the little more affordable side. Next one down is T. That's AT and T. Um, I did get one share of it. I'm up about 13 dollars on it. 
Next one down is Visa. Visa, I did overpay for it. Once Visa fall or fell, I bought it up and it kept falling, so I just decided to hold, and that's the best thing you can do. And they did pay me a dividend there. Next one down is VNQ. This is uh, Vanguard's real estate ETF, so I, I wanted to get in on this one as well. They do pay a dividend. I think I'm down on it. Yeah, around 8%. So that one kind of sucks. Uh, but next one down is VMY. This is Vanguard's high dividend ETF. Um, I have three shares of that one. Next one down is WMT, also known as Walmart. Um, I got one share, around $123. I'm down, you know, five bucks on that, which kind of sucks. But the next one down is Exxon Mobil, um, which is actually one of my higher uh, yield stocks, which is really good. Oh, I skipped UAL, that is um, an, an airplane. I believe that's United Airlines, I skipped it. So those were the top positions that I'm in. I do have a lot of stocks on watch. So I'm actually going ahead and investing in high quality stocks over high yield stocks, just because I want better quality stocks rather than you know a company that has a ridiculous yield and then can cut it at any time. I want a stock that's kind of been around the block a little bit, kind of has been through some market um, cycles and kind of just has a lot of upside potential. That's really what I'm looking at. I do have a lot of other swing trades that I'm in on another account. I did purchase actually four shares of Tesla all the way back when it was around $500, so I am up a little bit on that one. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and overall, I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. I just wanted to give you guys a brief portfolio update. That's really just the idea of this video. So if you guys have any video ideas, make sure you guys go ahead and comment them down below. We'll see you guys tomorrow on another one. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and overall, have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bam!